I have a GoPro Hero 9 here. I'm going to show you how to transfer uh, your photos and videos from your GoPro that's on your SD card directly to your Windows PC. If you have an uh, Apple computer or iMac, look in the link below. You have to do something a little bit different to transfer um, photos and videos. So I'm going to show you uh, several ways that you can transfer uh, videos and uh, photos directly to your uh, Windows PC. So the first way is this, okay? I'll use the cable last, but just really quickly, you have your SD card in here if you want to transfer. You can always go ahead and you can use like one of these adapters here and you can plug pop this in here. This is like 99 cents. This adapter here, like a, a micro uh, USB adapter here. You can plug that in there, plug in the USB port and um, extract all your videos and photos. And like I said, this is like 99 cents. If you don't have one of these, you may have one of these like laying around, these like adapters. You can go ahead and plop, pop this in like this. And if you have a memory card reader on your uh, laptop, you can go ahead and slide that on the side and retrieve the data. Another way is uh, maybe you don't have like a memory slot, but you have one of these. And if you have one of these right here, like this adapter here, you put your SD card in there, you put it into this adapter, and then this here, you put it into this adapter. Now you get the USB you can plug in there as well. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use a cable, which is the way that I use it mostly and the way that most of you guys will be using it to transfer data all the time. Okay, so first thing is go ahead and grab your uh, charging cable that came with your GoPro. If you don't have this laying around, sometimes like sometimes I even use like one of my uh, phone chargers, as long as it's a USB Type-C. This works sometimes. Sometimes i got to kind of play with it. Anyway, uh, GoPro cable here. Let's go ahead and plug one end into the USB port here and now with your GoPro what you want to do is go ahead and open the back door up so just pry this like up and slide it down it doesn't matter if the battery's in or out okay you can just leave it out it doesn't matter but you have the uh, your USB type-c port here so I mean first thing is you have to make sure that that is off okay mine's obviously off because I don't have the uh, the battery in but make sure it's totally off because first you got to go ahead and plug it in after you plug it in then you have to go ahead and turn it on. So I'll press and hold the power button here for like a couple seconds. Do I hear a beep? Okay, now I should see something that pops up on here on my computer. Now, if I don't, okay, something popped up here. I mean, sometimes it doesn't pop up. Sometimes you may have to try like a different USB port or a different cable or whatnot. But mine popped up here. It says Hero Black. So, and you can see on my uh, GoPro 9, it says USB connected. All right, so what you want to do from here is you want to... Go to your uh, laptop or your Windows computer or whatnot. Just go to the File Explorer, that little folder right here. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and tap on this. Let's open this up. Oop. Let's go ahead and open this up. And now, if you look on the side, the left pane here, now we it should say, you should find something that says Hero. Okay, there we go. It says Hero 9 Black right here. So tap on that. And then up here, you can see it right here. Now we're going to go ahead and double tap on that. And now we got to tap on the DCIM folder right here. Double tap. And then this GoPro folder right here. Let me go ahead and double tap on that. And these are all of my uh, photos and videos that I currently have on here. And just to show you, now you can see I have JPEG file, JPEG file, JPEG. The JPEGs are um, photos. If it doesn't have no JPEG, JPEG or anything on there, it has like that, um, that film thing on the side, then you know that those are videos. Anyway, from here, I mean, we can go ahead and drag and drop it. You can drag and drop it directly to your desktop. Oops, let me go ahead and move up here. I can just go ahead and drag this and drop it. And there it is, okay? Or, I mean, what I typically do if I, you know, what I do is I just right click on the desktop here and I go down to new and I go to folder and then I name this folder something. And then from here, I can go ahead and so highlight everything and drag and drop it in there or I can just if I hold down control I can just pick and choose what I want it'll just highlight if I want these three here then I can just drag and drop that right into this folder right here let that like transfer give it one second here and then once that's done you can see that it's saved on my desktop which is on my uh, computer my Windows computer here okay so pretty simple questions 
issues, comments, or anything, I mean, just uh, comment below, all right?